So one of the key projects that I recently worked on involved deploying an NFT utility in the client's environment. This was specifically to reward their employees uh, with non-fungible tokens uh, as part of their R&R program. The deliverable was the NFT utility where we had two cohort of users, the admin user and the participant user. The admin would mint the NFT and would reward the NFT to the eligible users as such. More often than not, the clients have a very clear objective and strategic view of the goals they want to achieve. However, at a tactical level, the outcome or the definition of the outcome is ambiguous and not clear to them. Mapping the outcome to the objective is the biggest challenge in any consulting engagements. Um, as consultants, we are expected to have the formula right in the first place. Um, and once we have the formula, we have the objectives and the mapping to the outcome, desired outcome. Um, we have alignment with few of the stakeholders and again acceptance and buy-in from a couple of stakeholders becomes difficult. To thread a path that is less often taken is the biggest challenge. Confidence and conviction takes precedence over everything in that particular situation. So whenever we start an engagement, be it a consulting engagement or an implementation project, the outcome is broadly or the expectation is probably clear to the client. So it all depends on how well we deliver the project to the client to ensure that uh, we add value and ensure that the objectives of the client are met. In each of the stages, there are some aspects that we consider it to be of uh, significance. So starting with when we are trying to understand the client requirement, we will start with the uh, top-down approach. So we will first sit with the leadership to understand their goals and objectives. And uh, then we start spending more and more time as and when we go down uh, in the value stream. So then comes uh, say with the managers or processors where we try to understand, sit with them, spend as much time as possible in understanding the pain points. So we gather as much data as possible. So the key uh, point in this particular phase is spend more time with people understanding their pain point. So in the next stage, uh, when we get into the solution design, we get onto the drawing boards, we try to see, we analyze, we assess the pain points and accordingly design a solution. Once the design is very here in our mind, then we start validating in a bottom-up approach. Where first we start with uh, the processors, see if the end, end customer or end consumer problems and pain points are addressed. Post which again we go up uh, and also validate the future state and uh, the proposed solution with the leadership. The next comes the development uh, stage where we focus on quality, making sure we deliver a world-class product, and also we emphasize on getting the work first time right. From a skills perspective, I think it's very important that uh, we work in a cusp of business and technology and uh, what we look at in a person is somebody who comes in with a blend of both, uh, understands business context, business problem statements and at the same time understands cutting edge new technologies such as generative AI, web3 technologies such as blockchains, NFTs, metaverse um, and, and of course then looks at it more from a problem solving perspective, what is the most apt solution leveraging these technologies so that the envisage benefits can be sort of delivered to clients. The other most important thing apart from knowing business and technology is the attitude of the person. Uh, we want people who are extremely driven, self-motivated, self-starter sort of people who can bring in the right sort of attitude into projects and we can deliver the things in a very agile uh, sort of a fashion. I think the two most important avenues uh, that I feel will probably define the way businesses uh, have worked till about now and how they will work in future uh, are generative AI and Web3 technologies. Both are extremely revolutionary as well as transformative and they can uh, impact uh, business models completely uh, in ways which we have probably not even thought about. Um, how we come into play is uh, we understand how businesses may want to look like in future and then leverage these technologies to certainly give them the right design and the operating models to weave these things into their businesses and reap the benefits and move towards becoming a more future-proof organization.